jiggly booty on Eve. Yeah, damn, do my eyes deceive. How many squats to achieve? Please, arch your back to receive. Dante dropped to his knees. A reason want her a squeeze. The way you clapping them cheeks. Now, so needing them a piece. Beta testers, I do declare that the way the booty shaking made me stop and stare. Journals beware, you're in for a scare, but I bet you'd coom for a literal bear. Yeah, she moving in slow motion, and the way the booty quaking got me grabbing a lotion. Potion, seller, I need your strongest potion. Used to have a teaspoon, now behold the ocean. Eve, please tie your shoelace, then park that ass right on my face. Girl, send this cock to out of space. Small step for man, leap for human race. Please make way for her arrival. Survival, vital for boner survival Eve might be new Lara Croft Let's make things hard, can't do things soft Jesus Christ, this shit's repulsive It's no contest, it's compulsive Das vidanya, ugly bliats More attractive things I've shed This right here is ineffective It clashes with our prime directive Polygons unrealistic Please go reapply your lipstick Shift up, cheeked up, we salute you Please don't let so near down great Cody I suck in my wallet and make me holla shit I'd write that for the idea Hello beta testers <laughs> Zorak you must be secreting something that's attracting this bear I haven't done anything except for this Merry Baldur's Gate has shown us that the same radical trans activists willing to review Hogwarts Legacy, the best-selling game of 2023, a one in between dildo reviews, are totally fine with bare sex, but are triggered and offended by females being feminine in a video game. I recognize labels are extremely important these days, so as a member of the human race, I shouldn't have to argue for the inclusion of organically beautiful works of art like the natural female form, especially in something so harmless as a video game. Blood, sweat, and tears go into realizing and maintaining stunning shapes in real life. So I want to thank not only Shift Up for demonstrating a, a, a mastery of the capture technology that puts 10 years worth of nightmares in the modern industry to shame, but I want to thank the actress for offering herself confidently to be immortalized and celebrated in a timeless way. Please, like and comment on this video to push it up and show Shift Up that not only will we welcome Eve as our new Lara Croft, but appreciate them for breaking the mold of the West, who deliberately forces the bar lower with intentionally ugly women, female exclusive downgrades, while the men hypocritically stay jacked and muscly. In my humble opinion, the biggest mistake Sony could make is forcing Shift Up to censor Stellar Blade. And if that seems like an exaggeration, good. Because here's what Digital Foundry's Alex had to say about Stellar Blade. So offended by Project Eve's protagonist. Because like they put the camera angles chosen, it just felt like this game seems like a, a game that came out in like 002 in terms of its, you know, like character design. Okay, pretty women are dated according to this it's guy. Like a bit old and, and not flattering, I don't think, for a modern audience. Wow, for a modern audience. It's in comparison to something like Forspoken, which has, you know, uh, I mean, yes, it has a much more realistic looking character designs. Uh, it's not these hyper proportioned uh, something or another's but white boy saw a nice ass and said hyper proportioned something or another's honestly i expect no less they have a small amount of power so of course they're going to abuse that power and trying their best to make the things that they don't like go away but when we have a problem with things they don't like it's just not for you can't things just be what they are it is what it is i 
likes from weirdos on Elon Musk's nursery for terminally online lunatics do not translate to sales, and activists calling themselves games journalists, deliberately avoiding discussions on the Hogwarts we love and the Bud Light forced inclusion of token diverse characters that are made deliberately gay, tame, and ugly that we absolutely hate with reason is exactly what makes them so useless that they could effortlessly be replaced by AI that could instantly do their job better. Why do you think everybody's suddenly becoming a little more Kyle around here? That people have the nerve to call a 30-year-old woman a kid? Yeah, you better delete your fucking account. You're obviously offended by heterosexuality. And since they like to proudly make it clear that I'm this and I'm that, I'm straight. I'm the reason that there's so many people kicking around on the planet. Not specifically, but my kind. You know what it mean, right? Games are now the biggest branch of entertainment. And I don't need to explain to you how lucrative, attractive badasses are. The only thing that the West is entertaining is a decade of failure in attempting to force a new standard of beauty on people who naturally miss big titties on a woman in a tank top because that could dominate the world. So shift up the same developer of Nikkei Goddess of Victory game dominating competition. Thank you for offering an alternative to the explosively political message heavy garbage that they're trying to sell people over here. This is disgusting. There are fundamental layers where it is genuinely gross and vile. There's something so off about this. It's some burnt piece of garbage. Or it's a so overpriced. It's like you're burning your money. What's even the point? And then, you know, the best part is that you're burning your money for absolute garbage. It's just been awful. It's quite frankly disgusting. As I outlined earlier in the video, with developers like Neil Cuckman and Brian Intihar needing to inject things instead of just making a fun game like Gabe Newell or Reggie Fielsame outlines, it's clear the design philosophy for Western developers is just way off. What gamers want is fun, and if we have to fight for it, even with entire corporations on the sides of kid diddlers, we will. Games should run the spectrum. They should be crass, rude, funky, cool, edgy, sexy, strange, twisted, jaw-dropping, and filled with eyebrow-raising moments in executed scenarios that only this medium could make happen. Because if we need to watch a movie, Western modern game developers, we can do that. Oh, right? I observe the blocking of sensitive American losers from communities that, you know, would, would be better off not having these desperate to ruin harmless project losers l destroying their garbage. We agree with the removal, with the gatekeeping of these pussies. Everything isn't for everyone. And the harmless art that is being created isn't something that needs to be shut down because it goes against the sensibility of Jesus Christ. So I pray Sony's contribution to Stellar Blade is only financial and that they don't alter a single scene, outfit, or even camera angle because the cold blunt truth that intelligent people recognize as consultation, not just a rant is that the OG incarnations with all the sexy intact is what would be the most memorable and help this brand make money into the future. If necessary, include a censored slider or a version where it's just going away from the camera angles, right? You know, who is, who's even gonna use that? The people complaining about this garbage don't buy these games. The only way something like that is getting used for a more conservative, oh, don't move to camera angle or way is if like somebody's streaming and they, come on, man. A warning to the games journalists who should be making better use of their time with the AI threat looming. If you want to fight, the gamers will bring it to you. And not in the teehee, rage bait, this will generate views for my doomed blog kind of way, but in a time for people to dump the folders of hypocritical cringe that you've spewed 
kind of way, hypocrisy so damning that an image of your contradiction is instantly a meme because games journalists live with a crotch in their face, cough them pubes up and get the fuck up out my space. My space, that's pre-Facebook. Shift up, all you have to do is launch a functional, complete, not broken game, and we got you. If Piss Keeley doesn't want to represent you at his fake gamer awards collecting money from advertisers as we have you and you're ushering us back into a great era that the West is too confused to manage. We love you. I love you. Beta testers. Happy 2024. This channel may still be demonetized, but you patrons are keeping me afloat and fuel in the tank. Discord link in the description. Please like and let's inform each other. Subscribe for more. And I'm going to be relying on you to stop by the streams and keep me informed more often. Add me on Fortnite and send me a bunch of songs. We rock band around here now. Love you. Catch you in the next one.